Let's talk about an id reaction, or better known as an eczematid reaction. So this is where somebody usually is struggling with a long-term allergic contact dermatitis. For example, to neosporin. So they get a little cut on their ankle, they start putting neosporin on it once a day, twice a day. That's not working. They keep doing it three times a day. It's getting redder and redder. They think it's infected. It's not. They're getting an ongoing allergic contact dermatitis to the neomycin, bacitracin, or polymyxin B that's in that triple antibiotic ointment. Finally, after a few weeks of doing that, it starts itching and itching. And then the immune system said, I've had it. And a big eczematid or id reaction happens where they get a rash everywhere all over their body as these fine little eczema bumps, even where they weren't putting the neosporin. So an id reaction or eczematid reaction is where the immune system freaks out to a long-standing original allergic contact dermatitis, very often from neosporin, but it could be from a lot of different products. And the treatment is take care of the original allergic contact dermatitis. In this example, stop the neosporin and give a strong ointment like clobetazole, and if they're miserable, maybe prednisone for a week or two to take care of that id reaction.